Hey everyone, this is Greg, and welcome to another uh, thrilling adventure with me here in Diablo 3. Uh, so, the last time uh, we took care of some business, and then we entered this new uh, this new quest, the Imprisoned Angel. So we have to go back to Highlands Passage here, and then um, yeah, check out what's going on there and enter the Cursed Hold. I uh, did some dungeon crawling last time, actually quite a bit of it. And I think that's about, I think that's about it. Um, I did get my new little uh, spider companion. That was pretty cool. And yeah, I think we'll just hop right into it. And bamf right there. And let's see where we have to go. I think we are Halls of Agony. We were there last, we were in there. Halls of Agony level 2. Do we go in there and then have to come back out? Is that what happened? I guess we have to go this way. I think this is... Holy cow, there's people. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go away. Um, so I added a bunch of stuff to my guy. My guy. I don't know if there's a good way you can see anything. Uh, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I just added a bunch of stuff to him. Um, did a little shopping. Got some better stuff. And, uh, yeah. I want to say thank you to the, uh, to someone on Reddit. Uh, I was going back and forth with them. Talking to them a little bit about, uh, about, uh, this game. They pointed me in the direction of some good Reddit forums, things like that, so that was pretty cool. Also talked to somebody on Reddit recently about out uh, about uh, not Diablo, uh, Hearthstone. And that was really cool. So it's always good when you connect with cool people. Yeah, it's always good good when you connect with cool people who are interested in the same thing that you're interested in. And genuinely What the hell are these guys? Dark berserkers. And who are genuinely just nice people interested in stuff. Interested in the same stuff that you're interested in. So that's, that's always cool. Reddit's an interesting place. It can be a little, uh... It can be a little scary on Reddit sometimes, but, uh... Definitely have had some good conversations with some people. So, uh, you probably noticed, um, the video, or maybe you didn't. Uh, maybe you're just new to the channel, and in which case I would encourage you to go check this out. But um, Kelly posted uh, a video, a little vlog of our trip um, that we recently took. We went to, uh, so we were off for a week of doing this and other things. But we went to Asheville, um, North Carolina, and then we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and visited the Smoky Mountains. I think my last video I talked a little bit about that too and about how the national parks and stuff like that belong to us and that we should all cherish them and we should all visit them as much as we can because again they belong to us sorry I'm setting something up they belong to us and um, same thing with state parks they belong belong to us so go visit your local state park go visit your local national park um, yeah, it's lots of fun stuff. Cursed hold, there it is. That's where we enter. What is that over there? That looks interesting. Okay. Alright, so we're in the cursed hold and there's this guy. I am a Scylla, once queen to our beloved Leoric. My servants and I were consumed by his madness. Oh, holy cow, she's now like a I head. My blessing, champion. To release my people from their eternal torment. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to kill you. Prisoners remain. Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think I remember this. Free these people. Is that what we gotta do? Thank the gods. All right, we got one of them. Alright. Oh, it's this thing. I think I remember this from the, uh, 
Uh, I hate those little worm things. I think I remember playing, maybe playing this part in the PS3 version of the game. And there's like a big baddie that got a battle toward the end, something like that. Um, there's people right there. Go away. Go away, please. So yeah, so that was lots of fun going down there and visiting the south. Yeah, I think I talked about that last time. Yeah, I'm gonna go free this person here. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. But again, it was lots of fun going to visit Smoky Mountains. It's just, they're just beautiful. It's, you know, for some people, it may just look like a, a sea of green. But to me, it is just utter, untouched beauty. It is awesome. And uh, hiking, things like that, that is the kind of stuff that my wife and I always like to do. Um, whenever we go on vacation, we typically try to visit like a local national or local state national park, something like that, and do some walking, do some hiking. And uh, it's just our way to connect with the local community. And uh, it just so happens that, it seems like, well, it seems like every single time we go somewhere, can I do anything with those? Maybe not. Every single time that we go somewhere, there just so happens to be like a craft fair or uh, some type of something within the community happening that, uh, that we can partake in. So that's... It's really, it's really cool. Like this past time, there's a random craft fair that we happened upon, so that was, that was lots of fun. What the hell was that? I like that. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Fan of knives. I like that. That's lots of fun. Yeah, I like that. I like that stuff. So, the other day... I didn't get to talk about this last time. But the other day... Um, the movie Kingpin was on, and I don't know if you all have seen Kingpin or not, but it is this ridiculous movie with Woody Harrelson, Randy Quaid, Bill Murray. Ah, uh, I don't like those things. My hatred is too low. And uh, it's it's a bowling movie, so Randy Quaid plays this Amish kid named Ishmael, and uh, he's done. That guy's dead. Named Ishmael, and. Uh, Woody Harrelson takes him under his wing to go. Oh shit. Um, to go. Uh, is there anything there? The veiled crystal. And pretty much just go and do a hustle of uh, of a lot of people and places and stuff like that. So, um, but it is just one of the one of the funniest movies. Like in terms of sports movies, I find that movie absolutely hilarious. Uh, I was so happy when it was on. Um, <laughs> the, just, like the end scene, the ending where um, Bill Murray, Bill Murray's character is like this bowler. Uh, this kind of what would what would you call him? A conniving kind of bowler guy um, who has like some type of vendetta against uh, Roy. Uh, I was gonna say Roy Hobbs. That's a uh, that's Mun Munson. Is it Roy Munson? Um, but um, anyway, 
But he has this like vendetta against him. Munson used to be like a really amazing golfer and all that kind of stuff. So um, he has this uh, he has this whole thing, this whole like revenge against him and stuff like that. So uh, it's just it's just hilarious how everything plays out in the movie. But uh, and pretty much the I can't believe this is as easy as it is. I feel like it's easy. And I can get these guys over here. And they're dead. Um, but the ending where Bill Murray has this, like, hair, it's up in the air, and he has a bowling ball with, like, a rose in it. Oh, my gosh. It's just... It's brilliant. It's it's one of my favorite... Actually, maybe one of my favorite, like, Bill Murray kind of things that he's ever done. Groundhog Day, of course, is one of, one of the best movies ever. I mean, come on. Uh... It's so, so funny. So many great scenes in it. Um, the scene where he's driving off that cliff with the groundhog is just brilliant. Um, he's hilarious. The fact that he only does like certain movies and then like he's re really weird with it um, kind of adds to the the, uh, the mythos, I guess, of who he is as an actor, as a person, and stuff like that. But um, how the hell do you get in there? I'll go over here, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's it's just such a good movie, and you know, again, like. Freedom, after so long. Thank you, champion. My servants are now free, but the curse over this place remains. Seek the warden at the dungeon center and end his evil forever. Warden at the dungeon center. I can do that, and end his evil. Um. Movies like uh. Ghostbusters. I mean, Ghost. Now, a lot of people don't like Ghostbusters too. Um, the same thing with like the Back to the Future movies. A lot of people don't like Back to the Future two or three. Um, I love all of those movies. I love the whole entire Back to the Future trilogy. I just think it's just brilliant. I quote it nearly every day, um, in some in some way, shape, or form, and. Um, yeah, it's it's just so so good. It's such a such a great movie, such a great trilogy. Not enough hatred. Not enough hatred. Am I on fire? I'm barely taking damage from that fire. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Stop and go away. Level twenty-five. This scoundrel guy has got to go, though. He is just... He is... All types of no good. Uh, yeah, I love all those movies, though. Um, I honestly don't think there's a bad one out of the Back to the Future trilogy. I think they're all hilarious, the way that everything everything goes. Um, you know, the, the way you see, like, the uh, Biff's family and stuff like that, and same thing with the Stricklands, how they all mirror um, each other in, in all the, the various eras. I think that's hilarious. It, it's just, I don't know, just so partial to those movies and how how funny they are. I grew up watching those. Same thing with the uh, with the um, Back, to, or Back to the Future uh, Ghostbusters movies. Um, brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. One of my favorite... Th <laughs> I, I do this a lot. Um, whenever... Um, Whenever like something, I don't know. I just I just do random movie quotes. My wife, uh, she, um, one year for Christmas, she almost bought me a shirt that says "I speak in fluent movie quote," because that's pretty pretty much right. Um, Am I alone here? Must I do this myself? So please, face me. Never forget your crime. Oh, there's the head jailer. I wonder when he would come out. He's almost dead already. Look at this. I need more hatred. He's dead. Was it seriously that easy? I think the door opened here, over here now. Um, one of my favorite things from Ghostbusters 2 is the wind stun. That is so hilarious. It's like. Um, when uh, when he's down in the tunnel, it's so funny. Wind's done. Hey, um, 
Yeah, it's just it's just funny stuff. Just good good movies all together. I know. I think IGN named that their like number one comedy movie of all time. I could totally see it. It's just so many quote worthy moments in all of those movies. Now, my wife's a huge fan of the John Hughes movies. John Hughes, you know, Pretty in Pink, all that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't get into as much of those, uh, though. Cusack, John Cusack is one of my favorite. Sure Thing is a great movie. Um, sure Thing. Um, I do, you know, I do like Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, and stuff like that. I mean, those are good movies. Soundtracks of those movies were. Kelly and I were just talking about that the other the other day. Actually, the soundtracks, soundtracks to any '80s movie, like there's no comparison, like to today's soundtracks and how how like awful the soundtracks really are today it's it's incredible the 80s movie soundtracks were definitely just wonderful and of course you know any soundtrack that's like more cinematic more um um uh like a score something like that you know occasionally i'll pop on some john williams in my office uh at work and i will listen and uh i will uh oh there's some guys right there how about that yeah, I'll occasionally pop on some John Williams, and I will uh, rock out to some uh, Jurassic Park soundtrack or, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that. Go in there, my little, my little minion, and do your work. Uh, search for the Chamber of Suffering. Okay. Well, there's a lot of guys down here. I don't like these guys. My hatred is too low. I think you think of like one of the best soundtracks that came out recently for, for movies was like the Suicide Squad soundtrack. And it was just I mean it was it was good and everything. I think it won an Oscar, I believe. Um for best soundtrack, but um, I don't know. There's just something about those '80s movies, John Hughes movies, especially. Um, they just have a certain sound, certain feel to them. One movie which I didn't know was a John Hughes movie actually is uh, *The Great Outdoors* with John Candy. Man, that's a whole, that's a hilarious movie. We actually, my wife and I, quote, quote that together quite a bit. That's a good movie. That's a really, really funny movie. If you haven't seen it, the bald-headed killer bear of, of Clare County. Oh my gosh, just so, so good, so good. John Candy, amazing, awesome. We lost, we lost John Candy. Unfortunately, like, like all the greats, too young, he was too young. He was a big guy though. He's kind, of, he's kind of almost like, you know, like Chris Farley type, Not enough hatred. really. Think about like how uh, you know, big dude, funny guy. Chris Farley. I had a teacher in high school who used to say that he hated Chris Farley movies because it was always fat guy fall down. That was his thing. Fat guy falls down. That's every movie. I'm like man, it is so much more than that. Those uh, those Tommy Boy movies or Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. Those two movies with with uh him and Spade. Oh my gosh, they're just so priceless. So many good mo uh, moments in that. So many quotable moments from those as well. Those movies are just great. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of, uh, <laughs> huge fan of, uh, of Tommy Boy. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just so funny. Actually, in high school, in high school, uh, I had like a tech egg class and we had to do something about, we had to create like an instructional video or something like that. And my, uh, my friend and I, we, <laughs> we did, uh, how to properly watch television and literally half of our video instructional video was just like me sitting down. And I, I think it might may have been a shot over my shoulder of Billy, the movie Billy Madison. <laughs> it was just me watching Billy Madison through half of the half of our instructional video. It was 
Just flyers. Got an A. We did good. There we go. I was waiting for that to happen. Treasure might be the finest thing in the world. There's nothing like it. You're always talking, aren't you? It's one of my better qualities. Yes, guys. I'm not. I'm not a fan of this. Holy cow! Bleed, you filth! I'm not a fan of the scoundrel guy. He's just rubs me the wrong way. What is this? My lord, the prisoner is ready, as you requested. Thank you, Lazarus. Your loyalty is invaluable in the midst of all these traitors. And you, my dear, my own wife and queen, conspiring against our kingdom. My love, I swear, I have never betrayed you. Oh, that's her? With the head thing? Holy cow. Well, that explains a lot. Until the very end. The time of my lord's true awakening is at hand. That huh. fool, the Yorick, was only able to resist him because he did not yet possess his full power. If the queen dispatched as a traitor, I may now devote myself fully to preparing Search the boy the for the presence of, of my master. Guessing is in. My dog is nowhere around, and I keep hearing like chains in the game. And I think it's like my dog. Who the heck knows at this point? But yeah, so, uh, again, just want to say how much I love uh, those movies. They're very few. My wife and I have very different tastes in movies. Um, you know, before... Um, before we started dating, she likes old movies. She likes a lot of uh, older stuff. Um, movies like... realizing now that actually may be a little loud so I'm gonna pop out and turn some of that down maybe it's not all right pop them back in um, she um yeah she, before we started started dating which was like 12 years ago um, which is incredible it's that long um, she really uh, she you know I didn't really watch old movies um, like the classics um, she really introduced me to a lot of that stuff I, what is this glowing blue there. What is that all about? What is going on in here? What type of incantation I is going on? Um, holy cow, there's a lot of these uh, cultists here. But yeah, so uh, the, the I didn't I didn't watch a lot of the classics, didn't watch a lot of those old movies. Uh, I had heard about them, you know. I, I love movies. I love watching. Holy shit, no. Um, love watching, or love going to the movies and stuff like that, but never really um, was into the old movies, anything like that. And she got me hooked, you know. Some of these, some of the old movies are just phenomenal. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Mr. Blanding's Built His Dream House. Sorry, I'm just making sure that's not my dog. Which it might be. So I'm going to pop out here real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, we're back. Um, that was probably an instantaneous thing, but uh, my dog is too smart for his own good. He uh, goes into the bathroom and, like, stares at the 
faucet in the tub, in her bathtub, and uh, that's how he tells us that he wants water. Because he knows that's where water comes from. Sometimes he goes in there and just straight up licks the faucet. I don't know where he learned that. Um, he's an interesting character. Alright, so as I was saying, uh, the classics, I have a bigger appreciation for the classics. Um, again, um, Pisser Blandings builds his dream house, which stars Cary Grant. Um, fan of knives to all y'all. Um, stars Cary Grant, Myrna, uh, Myrna Loy? I think Myrna Loy. Um, a great movie. It's about this guy who moves out to the country with his family, and it's 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 like this house. They're building a house, and it's it keeps getting bigger and bigger, and everything keeps getting added to it. It's it's really it's a great, just a great flick. Um, but you know, I I got into that kind of stuff because of my wife, and she really kind of taught me taught me to appreciate those types of movies, um, which is great because that was like that, was that golden age of cinema back then. I mean that was that was it, you know. It's I mean, there's so many great actors. Um, there's recently a documentary actually um, on Cary Grant. I think it was called Becoming Cary Grant um, on HBO. HBO Showtime Showtime I think, um, or maybe HBO. I don't know one or, one or the other. But um, it's phenomenal. It just talks about Cary Grant, the person, and and Cary Grant who he. Uh, Sorry. Uh, it talks about Cary Grant, the person, and how he, you know, that wasn't his real name and all that kind of stuff, and how he, how he kind of accepted. And the Orc had more people in his dungeons than some rulers had in their entire kingdoms. How he kind of ac accepted, or didn't accept, I guess, the role of, of Cary Grant, and how he, str <coughs> he struggled with that. <coughs> Cooper, I'll be right back cow. Sorry about that again. Just random <sighs> random dog stuff. He's just running all over the place now. I don't know what he's doing. Just being a total goober. Um, I've been working uh, quite a bit lately and I think that he like my schedule's been a little nuts and uh, I think he's um and with us being away, he's he's just he's all messed up too. So, um oh, holy cow. I didn't know that there's people right there. I have ex I expected that I yeah, I was looking for that. Um But yeah, so let's get through that before that explodes again. Uh, okay, where are we now? Can we make a circle? There's a bunch of people. Yep. 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 Uh, so, anyway. But yeah, so uh, th just that uh, I have a greater appreciation for for the golden age of cinema and, and what that is and what that meant back in the day with great um, actors, actresses um, like you know the Cary Grants, um, the Humphrey Bogarts, James Cagney. James Cagney has a great movie. It's it's actually very much the same as. Um, it happened one night. It's called The Bride Came COD. It's a very good movie. Um, it's that kind of stuff, you know. Those are the types of things that I never really watched when I was, uh, when I, I guess, can you say single when I was not with my wife? I don't know. 
I just didn't have an appreciation for that kind of stuff. She really taught me to, to learn and to... Well, taught me to just... Not to learn. Not to learn to like. She just showed it to me, really, and I, I found... You know, I always thought the humor in those movies was, like, really dumb. And, like, the pacing was really off. Um, but the more I... You know, the more mo old movies I watch, you find that the pacing is... You know, you have a lot of quick scenes and stuff like that. But the pacing's almost spot on for the, uh, um, to really advance the story. Because there's some, like, deep story elements in some of those movies. Um, and fast-moving story elements, too, you know. Things that, that, like I said, they had to keep, keep stuff going. Um, and keep the plot moving. Or else some of the movies would be, like, would be, um, like, m like, marathons. Like, uh... It's a mad, bad, mad, mad world is a great example of that because, I mean, that is just a long, long movie. Uh, there's so much that happens in that movie. Um, I hear one of those little treasure demons. Oh, he's right there. Treasure goblin. Go away. There you go. There we go. Holy cow, he dropped a lot of stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, so it's good stuff. You know, like the old movies. If you're if you're not into that kind of stuff, I definitely say give it give it a chance. Um, I was definitely not into it. I never really gave stuff a chance um, until I actually sat down and watched it and. Uh, until then, um, wow, there's so much stuff going on. Stuff that just how we do it in Kingsport. Though my counsel begs me to reconsider, I will continue with the executions of those I find guilty of plotting against the kingdom. Perhaps they fear my eye will fall on them and discover their heinous, treasonous plans as well. Lazarus is the only one I can still trust. <laughs> Interesting. Probably something's down that way, I'd imagine. And that's probably where I, I have to go to, I think. Um, so I'm going to go back this way, just backtrack a little bit. You know, I was, when you're younger, it's, it just surprises me how much your taste really changes. Um, when I was younger, my taste in music was, which I talked a little bit of in my one video, my, my taste in music. You know, it was very much like I liked grunge and I liked punk and I liked certain types of things and certain types of punk and I only like certain grunge bands and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, oh, shoot. Um, and as I got older... Cow. As I got older, you know, my taste changed. I came to appreciate stuff more. I came to appreciate good... Uh, I came to appreciate good, good songwriting, good uh, musicality. Um, I have no place to put that item. Holy cow, my whatchamacallit is quite full. Um, we can drop that. Right? And pick this up. I'm overburdened. Oh no, I don't want to equip that. Why do I equip that? Leg. Leggings.
But yes, it's just, I don't know, it's just really interesting at how, uh, how, how your stuff changes. There's the Chamber of Suffering. I was just wondering what was taking you so long. All right, so what is going to go on here? Holy cow. Is that Magda? She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to meet the Butcher. Holy cow, what is this? What is this dude? He has like horns and stuff. Holy cow. This dude's legit. Yeah. Holy oh 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 oh! Now we don't want that to happen. My hatred is too low. He's like almost done actually. Holy cow. Yeah, that does a lot of damage when he does that. I just shot in the completely wrong direction. That was wonderful. Did I just kill him? I kill him? Holy cow, I killed him. Okay. Um, I have to go into my inventory and drop a bunch of stuff because there is a lot of stuff over here that I would like. Um, so let's drop a bunch of these. Don't need that. Don't need those. I don't want that. I don't even care about that. Don't care about any of these. These are terrible. This is stupid stuff. Don't like that. Don't like that. That. What is that? I don't even know if I can Well, that's something to consider. Twin sword, don't want that. That's pretty crappy. 65, that's my phone. Okay, let's go. Let's go see what we have over here. A lot of stuff over here. A lot of good, hopefully a lot of, like a lot of good stuff that we can pick up. Is there anything else? We get it all. There's nothing over here that we really want. What was that thing that I just picked up? Energy, desire, something like that it said. Okay. Let's head out here. And we have to find the stranger. Which is our last little bit here. And I'm sure he's down this way. Love the ambiance of this place. Blood smears, the whole deal. Is that the stranger from before? Right. It's my guy. It's my guy. Don't do don't do that to my guy. And fan of knives for all you. Get away. Go away. I am dying. Take up your sword. My sword. I remember now. 
Why was I not an angel of the high heaven? <sighs> I was the embodiment of justice. I was. I am. Tyrael. Cool. Fire at will. You have restored my mind, friend. And now I remember the warning I came to deliver. The Lyle and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, the Lyle's shadow has fallen upon Chaldean. I will stop at nothing to kill them, all of them, until their corpses are piled higher than the tallest towers. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Yes, let us do that. And away to New Tristram we go. And we've reached our checkpoint. And we've returned to New Tristram. And we have completed all of our goals. We just have to talk to Ty Tyrael and New Tristram. Let's go do that real quick. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. And how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. We can do no less for him. But afterward, he must be avenged. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak I think I got sunburned today. Oh my gosh, go. my skin feels we'll see the cane as we depart. Awesome. Well, that's uh that's that. That was our uh that was our adventure and I'm glad you guys joined me for that. I'm uh going to stop right there and we'll pick it up next time. We'll talk to the caravan leader and go on another uh adventure together. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back.